No, they are not My Little Ponies because <laughs> they don't look like My Little Ponies. Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick video today. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. Just kidding, <laughs> just kidding. All right, yeah, I, I wanted to film a video, but like I'm trying to plan things out because going through like everything that I showed you in my haul video, um, I kind of got things in pairs along with like a couple other stuff that I got after. Like I kind of want to do like themed weeks. So like one week is going to be Bar Barbie week, one week is going to be Shadow High week, and one week is going to be um, Not Enough Surprise week and like whatever else I got down there. Um, but most of the stuff I got, like I got in pairs. So I'm going to do that and then I, I kind of want to do that. So today is just going to be like the random stuff, <laughs> like the offbeat. And I just want to open a bunch of stuff. So that's what I'm going to do today. So if you saw um, earlier this week, I put up a video that was like a bargain hunting video. I don't remember exactly what I ended up naming it yet because like as as of filming this I just finished editing that one but I haven't like actually technically uploaded it. By the time you see this video that will be up on my channel. Anyway um so on that um, I did go out and did some additional shopping and um, I found this pop figure and I wanted to open it and look at it without the glare <laughs> um, and I was you know thinking oh and then you know I had all these other things that I got from my uh like like in my Christmas haul and stuff like that, like the My Little Ponies and the Articuno. So I'm like, let me just open up a bunch of like these off, like the, you know, the one-off things that I happen to have. And, you know, we can take a look at them. So um, in this video, I'm gonna be uh, doing, um, I've got two pop figures, the Pokemon Articuno, some My Little Ponies, Barbie Extra Mini, and, oh, and then the other pop figure. So yeah, so why don't we just go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna start off with this one since I've got it here. Here. I've got the Funko Pop Alice in Wonderland uh, Cheshire Cat pop figure and this one is really cool this is the one that looks like he is disappearing so because if you know the Alice in Wonderland story you know that the Cheshire Cat tends to disappear <laughs> um, so on the back you can see the other pop figures that were available for this Alice in Wonderland collection. So they have like the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, Queen of Hearts, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and the White Rabbit. I kind of want the White, White Rabbit. That'll probably be the next one that I try and get. And then maybe eventually the Queen of Hearts. And they have more than this. This is not, these are not the only, ooh, um, these are not the only Alice in Wonderland pop figures that there are. Uh, oh, the Queen of Hearts, oh, I didn't even notice this. The Queen of Hearts also comes with the King of Hearts. That is so cute, and he's so tiny compared to her, which is hilarious. Um, I have this Alice where she, or is it this one? I, I don't, hold on, that's so weird. No, I do not have this one. Okay, so this one is different than the one that I have. I have just the regular Alice, which she's over there. I'm not going to get her right now because I can't reach her, but um, she's just standing there. And this Alice is in a curtsy, like she's holding out her dress. So I don't, hold on, let me actually zoom in. There we go. You can kind of see it a little better. But anyway, Alice is in like a curtsy pose, like where she's bowing to the queen uh, in, in that, that particular scene in the movie. I don't have that Alice. I'm gonna have to look for that one because I have her regular one. I have the, the one from Disneyland. It was, I don't know if it was an exclusive to the Disney parks or not, but um, she's sitting in the teacup, like the Disneyland ride, the teacups. So I've got that Alice. And um, there is another Alice that I'm aware of where it's her and it's kind of like the Jurassic Park one where it's like a scene. So it's her with all of the flowers from the golden afternoon scene. Uh, I don't have that Alice, but I would like to get her eventually. Um, but this white rabbit is so cute. I don't really care about the other ones as much, like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Take it or leave it. If I got it, it'd be in my Alice in Wonderland collection, but I don't need them. Uh, March Hare, same thing. It'd be part of my Alice in Wonderland collection. I don't need it. Um, Mad Hatter would be kind of cool. Same thing, I don't really need it. My favorites really are Alice and the Cheshire Cat and then the White Rabbit. Those are like my, f and then the Queen of Hearts. Those are like my four 
four characters that I would like to collect and it's kind of like in that order. So anyway, um, let me just go ahead and open this. So the box is already kind of like beat up. I am not an inbox collector when it comes to, well, when it comes to most things, but <laughs> when it comes to pop figures, um, a lot of people get the, the pop figures and they just keep them in the box, which makes sense because it does keep them from getting dusty. And I totally understand that and I, I that makes sense. And technically I probably should at least keep the boxes for that, but I have no patience for that. I don't care. Plus it takes up way too much space. I just, as of right now, I don't have enough space to collect all my pop figures and stack them up in boxes. So I just take them out of the box so I can actually appreciate them. Look how cute he is. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> um, so his coloring is like this kind of pink magenta kind of color and um, his head does turn so it is kind of like articulated and then his arms and legs look articulated but they are not that's just how he was put together but the body is so cool because the body is actually transparent and then they painted over the top with the both the pink and the purple stripes and then the tail you know they kind of stopped doing the purple part way down so it looks like he's disappearing that is such a cool pop figure I, I i love these creative ones like they have so many just like normal pop figures of like characters i like and stuff like that but this is actually really cool um because it's kind of like mimicking a scene from the movie so anyway okay i'm gonna go ahead and set that there um let's actually i'm just gonna move this stuff around uh because i really want to get this other pop figure out of the box so Let's go ahead and open this one next. So this is the Jurassic Park pop figure. Um, there's a glare. It's really hard to see, which is why I want to get it out of the box so I can show you. Um, but this is the Muldoon Raptor Hunt. So if you've seen Jurassic Park, you know at, at one point in time, Muldoon is the guy that I, I want to say he's Australian. Or British maybe I don't know he has an accent he has like the safari hat oh you have he has the hat right there on the log you can kind of see it you will we'll, I'll show you when I get it out of the thing anyway he's hunting the Raptors because he he takes um, Ellie Sattler to go turn the power back on for the park and then at one point he's like we're being hunted by Raptors so she goes in the building he goes to hunt the Raptors and um, at one point the Raptor like ambushes him from the side so and he goes clever girl <laughs> which is one of the most quotable one of the most quotable lines from the movie here's the back of the box where you can see it so um this one they do not show any other pops that you can get from this collection the way that the alice one did or the cheshire cat i mean um but it does have a number oh did that have a number 1059 so the cheshire cat if you want to know the pop number is 1059 so 1059 um the pop number for this one i don't know what these numbers mean i think it's just like the like they've maybe come out with 1000 of them or whatever this is uh 1204 so 1204 is the number for this particular Funko Pop. Um, yeah, let me just go ahead and open this and get this one out of the box. See, this is a prime example of like, I have no space. I, there's no way I can just display this giant box. So um, I'm taking it out of the box and that way I can show off the whole thing. Ah, that looks so cool. <laughs> it's so fun. This is why, okay. I love Jurassic Park. I'm just going to show it to you while I'm talking about it. I love Jurassic Park, but I think this is hilarious. I don't know why. Like, it's just, it's a scene from the movie and it's a really funny scene, but the fact that they turned it into a pop figure is what I find hilarious. So yeah, so this is one of the Raptors. Uh, I don't think any of the Raptors had a name that I am aware of from uh, Jurassic Park 1, the first one. Um, so I don't know if this one had a name or anything like that. But anyway, so that's the character. His last name is Muldoon. I don't remember what his uh, first name is. Um, but anyway, so yeah, he's got his little hat that he sets because he he um, takes his hat off, sets it on the log, and then he pulls out his gun. It doesn't have his his weapon. He doesn't have his gun. I'm not seeing it anywhere. So they didn't include it. And maybe that was on purpose because they uh, didn't want the 
the gun for violence. I don't know. Maybe it was uh, just an oversight. I don't know. Or maybe it's just an extra piece of detail that they didn't want to uh, bother sculpting and painting. But look at that raptor. <laughs> it looks so good. It's done so well. And like his little foot's up and everything. I love that. Um, but at least they got the hat and the log and everything. And then the crouch. Like you can see how he's crouched everything it just it looks so good this is so cool i love this and you've got like all, the whole scene you've got the ferns even down to the tree root um that's that was behind him and everything this is so good so good this is so cool i love this all right uh what is next um let's see here so i have you know what really quick okay hold on um let me move some stuff around because i need to make room here uh let me just set Okay, so next up, um, I want to open up this Articuno because I have been itching to get this one out of the box for a while. Plus, I feel like compared to the next couple things that this is probably going to be one of the easier things to open, at, at least out of whatever I, I have left over. So anyway, official Pokemon Select merchandise. Uh, this is an articulated Articuno figure. Uh, so it does come with a stand and it is fully posable, which I love. Um, here is the back of the box. You can see that there's four other characters. You've got, along with Articuno, you also have Charizard, Rayquaza, and I never remember the name of this, Greninja. That's what it's called, Greninja. Um, also, I think Greninja is kind of weird. So um, they had Greninja at the discount store and I could have got him, but he wasn't like that low in price. The reason I got Articuno is because Articuno was only $5 at that's cheap. Um, but Greninja at the discount store was still like $13. Um, and there was a discount, but I don't know how much of a discount. It's like, I don't really like that Pokemon enough or know enough about that Pokemon to want that Pokemon. Uh, if they had Charizard, I'd absolutely get it <laughs> at that price. But um, anyway, they had Greninja. Also, I found out that Greninja is wearing this scarf that kind of trails behind him and he looks like a ninja. Um, he's a frog and that scarf is his tongue. <laughs> That's weird, right? That's weird, right? Like, I, I can't be the only one that thinks that. Um, but anyway, his tongue is so big and so long that he can't have it in his mouth. It's out at all times, and it, he wraps it around his neck. I don't know. Anyway, or at least that's what somebody told me. I could be wrong about that, but that's what somebody told me. So, and I didn't do research like I probably should, but um, anybody got time for that? So, hold on. I need some scissors real quick. All right, so I'm just going to cut this open here and this should be relatively easy to open kind of oops kind of like the pop figure oh the the stand is in the top so <laughs> i gotta be careful about that okay i don't want to lose any of these pieces oh it's one of these stands okay it's kind of it's going to be like a slightly articulated stand so it reminds me of the snap stars dolls which I don't think they did very well because I don't think they're around anymore. I could be wrong about that once again. I don't know. But um, I, I haven't seen Snap Stars for a while at this point. But they had one of these kind of like articulated stands um, where these are joints. So this can actually... Oh, it can break. That's what it could do. Uh, oh, don't lose a piece. <laughs> what a mess. See, nobody comes to my channel for professionalism, right? <laughs> They're, oh, okay, it didn't break. But anyway, you could like reposition it, basically. So um, let me figure out how to put this together here in just a second. Actually, first, let me cut Articuno free because it's got all these little plastic tags, tabs, whatever these are, uh, the kajinkers. <laughs> Let me cut them free. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so here is Articuno, and they always seem to have Articuno posed in like this position for some reason, um, but I love the fact that he's actually um, like articulated, like he can pose. I mean, there's not a whole lot he can do. I mean, he can't fully, oh, I guess he can kind of put his wings down. So if he wants to rest, although he's just got really big wings. I mean, I guess the way that a bird rests, it folds up his wings close to him and he doesn't have that much range of movement. <laughs> but, um, you know, I mean, you can totally like move around. He can like wave hello, <laughs> stuff like that. But, um, I don't know, I'll kind of have him pose like that, like the Pokemon Go uh, team 
Instinct, I think it was Team Instinct uh, pose. He's got Articuno like this. So, oh wow, have his feet back behind him. He's like Kamikaze, woo, or something like that. I don't, I have no idea what's happening. But this is so cool. So um, he's he can move at the head, shoulder. I guess that's an elbow, I guess, that area. <laughs> um, the legs can move forward and backward, and then the uh, there's a double joint at this part right here of the leg, and then the foot can swivel, and then... Are the toes articulated? The toes are articulated independently! So he can make a rude gesture if you <laughs> if you so dare. Um, but anyway, yeah, the toes are each independently. That is so cool! Oh my gosh, I actually really like that. So you can put him in a really cool like fighting pose or something. Um, but I'm just gonna have him like holding his uh, feet in cause he's gonna be like flying or whatever. So like that, except that fixes wings real quick. Cause who can, <laughs> who can fly like that? I have no idea where I'm gonna put this because um, he's gonna take up so much space. Um, also, he has his tail. So in, you know, the part, the artwork and the cartoon, he has a really, really long feather tail. And um, this is a wire, like bendable. It reminds me of Gumby toys. Um, you know, like it's just those posable, uh, covered in rubber, whatever. So you can do all these cool things. I have, so, like thinking of like vintage toys uh it's not my little pony brand it's something else there are these birds that are kind of like my, my little pony i believe they are called fairy tales don't i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i believe they're called fairy tales but they are birds so i'm gonna put it if i can find a picture i will put a picture right here anyway there are these birds from the 80s that are called fairy tales and they i think they're made by hasbro so i think that they're kind of like similar to My Little Pony, but they're not the same line. They're not from the same universe or whatever. Anyway, I remember that like the girl next door to me had a couple of those and I loved them. I was obsessed with them um, because they have long tails like this, but it's made of hair and it's like a ponytail. Um, and then they have a little tuft of hair coming out the top of their head and I thought they were so adorable. I finally found out what they were and I was able to buy some on eBay um, a few years ago. So I have a few of them and um, I have them and I really want to customize a couple of them because I want to turn one into Articuno, one into Zapdos and one into Moltres and what started that was first of all I love Articuno and this reminded me of their tails when I saw Articuno it made me think of those toys um, so you know I could if I had a blue one with like the blue tail and whatever I could make it look like Articuno and then I have one that the hair is cut and it's uh, like a pinkish red color and I could turn that one into Moltres because I was like well the hair is cut on this that's how I bought it off eBay so if I, I can customize it and you know turn it into Moltres or something like that so that's that's where I kind of got the idea and then I'll figure something out for Zapdos. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this is really cool. Now, um, there was zero instructions in this thing. Um, not that it, you really need it because it's literally just a Pokemon figure, but it looks like... Okay, so to put the stand together, it looks like this one is in the bottom and then this part is the part that's actually in the Pokemon. So let me put the stand together. And then, oh, that's, there we go, there we go, there we go. So now I have my Articuno on a stand and I'm gonna have to figure something out. Like I said, it he does take up a lot of space, um, but he, I mean, he's kind of, I wanna put him on this shelf right back, this shelf right here, cause that's my, I call it my fandom shelf. That's where I've got my other Pokemon figures and uh, like Tomb Raider and Harry Potter and all that stuff. Um, so I've got my other Pokemon figures there. So I do wanna kind of put him there. I just don't know where he's gonna fit, especially since his base is so big. So I have no idea where that's gonna fit, but um, I'll figure out something, I guess, um, because I can, kind of 
pose him like this where I've got the tail kind of scrunched in a little bit and have the wings up like this. Um, but then he's going to block anything behind him. I have no idea. I will figure this out <laughs> and I will eventually put him on the shelf. But for now, um, I'm actually just going to set him aside and let's see. What do I want to open next? I'm gonna, You know what? I want to open this Barbie Extra. I've had it for a while. Um, so this is Barbie Extra Minis. Um, there is no name and no number. So it, whatever, it's, <laughs> so there's no identifier on this one. I don't know what, if they're supposed to be called something specific, but basically this is the one with the um, green emoji sweats and the beanie with the purple hair and the shaved side of the head. Um, I call this one the Jenna Marbles one <laughs> because it reminds me, her, her design reminds me of Jenna Marbles. Now I got this for $5 on clearance at Walmart. I think they are normally only like $10. So it was like half off, whatever. But um, I'm, let me do this so we can actually see her. I mean, I guess I could just like take her out of the box. Like, you know, I'm doing for the rest of the things. Anyway, so yeah, I, I see this and it reminds me of Jenna Marbles because Jenna used to always wear a beanie like this and like wear comfy sweats and stuff. And I don't think she ever had a shaved side of the head, but um, yeah, I don't know. It just reminds me of Jenna Marbles for some reason. Like even the facial. Here, let me, let me get her out of the box really quick and then we can actually see her better. Oh my gosh, okay. So, she is really cute, but like, <laughs> like I said, she reminds me of Jenna Marbles so much. I don't, I don't know why. Like, is it anybody else? Like, oh, and she comes with these really cool sunglasses. Hold on, let me put these on her real quick. There she is. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> As Jenna Marbles always would say, oh, oh hell, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyway, but yeah, she's got these flaming sunglasses. Nothing goes together. Like, I, I don't, here's the thing. Barbie Extra, like, it's in the name. It's Extra. I get it. But honestly, like, I just, sometimes it, Extra is too much. <laughs> like, you could be Extra, but still match <laughs> or whatever. Like, I mean, okay, so this is an outfit. I get it. Like, just by itself is fine. You got purple and green is your color combo and you've got smiley faces and emojis and it's and like that's that's fine but then you've also got like the silver jewelry and then like the sparkly boots and everything and then orange flame sunglasses like I don't these don't really go with it in my opinion. Um, it's a look this is this is a look I'm not gonna say that it doesn't like as a it is a complete look like I'll, I'll give it that um, and the pop of color with the orange isn't the worst that I've seen from some of these dolls um, but like it's not necessarily this particular one is not my style I did not originally plan to get this particular Barbie extra mini um, I think the reason well the only reason I bought it is to customize it she was on clearance for only five dollars which is incredibly affordable um, uh, and I plan to customize this doll. So that's the reason I got this one in particular. There are a few others that I really, really like and I would like to have for my collection, but that's just it. It would be for my collection um, or whatever, you know, but their style is more in line with the, the style that I like. Uh, this particular one I only got to customize, but I figured, you know, like I can open it up and show it in this video. Um, but anyway, the hair is polypropylene. So whatever, uh, like at this point, I've come to expect it from Mattel whenever they do like bright fun colors. Although some of the Monster High dolls, like the Monster High G3 dolls, and even like some of the Monster High G1 alum dolls um, are having saran hair, but like in bright colors. Um, I just, some of the colors they choose to use are this dry feeling like plastic hair. I don't know. It's, it's like, that's the thing is like somebody I somebody commented in one of my videos because they didn't understand what polypropylene was or why it was bad and I'm going to do a whole hair video at some point and I've mentioned this in the past I will get around to it eventually I plan to do it this year I just wanted to wait till after the holiday season because I was I knew I was doing all that like av advent calendar stuff um, but anyway um, yeah polypropylene hair feels like straw like hay <laughs> but 
a plastic version of that. So, and yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's not my favorite. It's coarse. It's not as flowy or silky smooth, like whatever. Um, it, it gets some fun colors, so it looks nice. It takes to heat well. So if you want to style it, you can totally style it. But for people like me that enjoy hair play, like literally playing with the hair, brushing it, braiding it, styling it, whatever, I don't care for this hair type because it can also be kind of stubborn. Um, whereas like Saran is, uh, or even high quality nylon is just like a lot nicer. It feels nice. So when you're playing with it, you know, I just enjoy it a lot more. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna get off my high horse. The reason I bought this doll is to customize it um, because I one of the games that I've been playing for many years is Final Fantasy XI online. And um, my main character, Character is a human, but my uh, secondary character is a Taru Taru. Taru Tarus are these adorable little um, characters that they're short. They're they're the halflings of Final Fantasy XI. And um, I have been wanting to make a custom Taru Taru doll for a while, but I've never found one that's the right scale. And this is the first one that I've found that is close to the to the right scale, but also articulated. Like she has a really good range of movement in her arms and then she can bend at the knee like there's really good movement um the legs are kind of like they can only do so much but i mean whatever it's a small scale um but they can sit down and stuff like that and i don't know they're just they they have really good poseability so i'm like yeah i'm totally using this to make a taru taru um also they can turn back and forth at the head but they can't really like they don't they don't have like a uh, tilt in their head. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's the reason I got this doll was to customize it. Um, but I think I might get more of these because they are actually really cute and you know, they're at a decent price point. So there's one that's like a blonde one that's like got a pink dress and like a little crown. I kind of like that one. And then there was one that was, um, has like a teddy bear theme. I really want that one. But I think the one that I want the most is one that like her color scheme is like, orange and blue and yellow tie-dye like she's mostly orange with a little bit of blue and yellow and that one I want the most I think is that's the one that my eye keeps going back to so eventually I think I'm going to end up getting her if nothing else um, but yeah so I'm going to be customizing this to be my, my Taru Taru character which is interesting because the hair color is already like very close to my character. I just hate this hair fiber, so I don't think I'm gonna use it. Plus it's it's too thick to do the style for the Taru Taru. Um, so I'm probably gonna end up using yarn just to like get the right thing. Um, since I'm gonna customize her anyway, I am gonna remove her hat because I wanna actually see what she looks like without the hat. And if I remember, it, I, I believe, yeah, she, she has like a shaved side of the head. So I just wanna see what that looks like. Um, ugh, let go. Okay, so here's the beanie. It's not fabric. The clothing is fabric, but the beanie is like a plastic or whatever, like rubber, like, yeah, plastic thing. Uh, and it has the sticker on it for the little smiley face. So, all right. So here is what she looks like without, <laughs> without the beanie. Oh, the rooting is kind of weird in the front. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe it's just because um, she had the beanie on, so it looks flat. So normally dolls paint the scalp the color of the hair, so that way it looks fuller. But um, this one, they painted the scalp brown and the hair is um, like a light lavender color. So even though it's like got pretty thick rooting, you can see the scalp a lot easier. So, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, there's not really any major bald spots. I mean, if I pull the hair apart, it creates a little bald spot looking thing, but really the hair is evenly dispersed. Um, it does look a little flat up in the front because of where the, the beanie was pushing it down. And because of that, you can kind of see the scalp a little bit easier right here in the front. But when I move the hair out of the way, um, it is rooted pretty well. So it's just because they didn't, they painted the scalp the brown color instead. And overall the hair feels really, really thick. So, which is typical for polypropylene hair for dolls. They, the hair is not as expensive, so they're able to use more of it per doll. But anyway, oh, the side of her hair is flocked. Oh, that's cool. So I thought it was painted when I just glanced at it, but I'm feeling it's actually flocked. All right. All right, you know what? I'm actually kind of impressed by these dolls. These Barbie Extra Minis 
they are actually like they're a decent quality other than the hair fiber i mean and the hat is a molded plastic but it gives a specific look so it's it probably easier than trying to do a fabric one and make sure it's in the right position but yeah these like the outfits are really nice because they're like made from like a t-shirt material or like a almost like an actual sweatshirt material no, it's like a t-shirt material, but on a doll scale, it looks like a sweatshirt. Like, this is actually really good. And then she has one stud earring and then one hoop earring and then, like, the little spiked necklace and everything, which, can you see it? There it is, spiked necklace. <laughs> um, I like her boots. Here, let me show you her boots really quick. These are really cute. They kind of look like the Doc Martens, but like they're black and sparkly. It's not holographic, but um, it, it's sparkly. It's just a silver glitter though. It kind of looks multicolored because of all the stuff I have behind the camera um, that's lit up that's like different colors. So it's reflecting that and it kind of looked hollow, but it's, it's just a flat silver glitter. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, so she does come with a little purse. So she's got like this little white purse. It doesn't open, um, but it's kind of got a, a pearlescent sheen to it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it has like this like molded chain detail that, you know, does kind of move back and forth so she can hold it. And then she also comes with a stand and her stand is like this lavender, purple, like lilac, whatever color you want to make this. Um, and I think this is really cool for this, for dolls at this size to actually have a stand. I think that that's really cool. And if I customize this to, to be a Taro Taro, I'll probably customize the stand somehow, um, just so that way it looks appropriate for a Taro Taro. But like, that is really cool. I love this. I, I love when dolls come with stands because I'm a collector and I like to display my dolls, you know? <laughs> um, and I know that like, Kids do too. <laughs> like my nieces and nephew, especially uh, my nephew when he was younger, he loved displaying his toys. He would always, and he, he still does this actually, uh, now that he's like, even though he's like 13, um, he still uh, displays like his toys and like now he's into pop figures, but like he likes to line them up and stuff like that. And even when he has stuff, he likes to display it. So like kids do like it as well. So I love it when dolls come with stands and the fact that these are little $10 dolls or whatever the retail price is. Um, and they come with a stand so that way you can display them. That's really cool. Like I, I like that. It shows that it's like meant to be displayed and meant to be collected and stuff like that. So um, yeah, more stands for dolls. <laughs> I wish that like some of the newer Monster High dolls would have them and stuff. Um, now Rainbow High and Shadow High is starting to do away with the stands. Or I don't know if they're doing away with them, but I guess just some of the newer ones are starting to not come with stands. And it's like, no, stop taking away our stands. We need a way to display them like this. So anyway, so yeah, this is a this is my future Taru Taru do custom doll. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at the My Little Ponies. So these are the G5 My Little Ponies, and I. I'm, I've already mentioned this a couple times in a couple different videos, but I haven't really gotten into G5 of My Little Pony that much just yet um, because I was a huge fan of G1 and um, I was really into My Little Pony when I was a kid. G2 came out around the time that I wasn't as much into My, My Little Ponies at that time because by then I was like maybe 12 or 13 and I was more like playing video games and stuff like that. So I never really got into Generation 2. Plus I saw them and I was like, they don't look like ponies. You know, they changed the look completely. So I was like in that like, hmm, no, they are not My Little Ponies. So I'm not gonna get them. Um, so that was kind of like my attitude at that time. Uh, then when Generation 3 came out, that was like, I don't remember what year it came out. All I know is it was like at the end of high school for me, maybe like right after high school. And it was when I had like one of my first jobs because I was like, oh, I actually have some money, some like pocket money that I can spend on stuff. And I remember the first place that I saw My Little Pony Generation 3 was in a Hot Topic. And because Gen 3 looked like this, like generation three looked like this. They kind of brought the style back similar to generation one, but they updated it. It looked more modern. And in fact, Pinkie Pie, not this exact one. This is one of the more recent uh, reproductions. But anyway, um, this one, a Pinkie Pie that looked very similar to this was the first one that I saw in a Hot Topic store along with the purple one. And I was like, oh, because Hot Topic is like a 
trendy store or whatever they're like or you know like they're like oh these are like retro things and i thought it was exclusive to hot topic and then i found uh, you know i realized oh they're actually selling these this is the third generation of my little pony and then i really got back into collecting at that time because now i'm an adult and i have adult money so <laughs> um i started collecting my little pony um for generation three and um because the style looks so similar to g1 with like the face shape and everything um i fell in love with g3 and they were just like a you know a nice quality just an updated version um, anyway, after that, G4 came out, and I remember kind of being resistant to G4 at first because I was like, eh, I, the, they look like anime. They're completely different style, and I wasn't into anime at the time other than Pokemon. And I just, you know, I had a little bit of resistance for G4. Um, but then I, you know, once I saw the cartoon, I very, very quickly got into G4 because of the cartoon, not so much because of the toys. I really enjoyed the cartoon because it was so good. And um, then I started collecting G4 ponies, and I have a whole bunch of them. And I think most of my ponies are G4 at this point, just because that was when I was really actually collecting ponies at that time actively and those were what was available on the shelf and I could get them for like five dollars each so they were inexpensive easy to collect and uh, easy to find available so I think that's why I have the most of G4 and it was really successful that's my long-winded explanation but anyway once they started to come out with this one G5 um, when they first leaked that they were that G4 was ending and they were rebooting it again, I was not happy. <laughs> I was like, we finally have a cast of characters that I like and that um, you know, like just it is what it is. Um, but I, I understand that like brands have to revamp and re renew and like you know be up to date with the times and everything to be able to stay afloat um so i get that but they could have like updated them but keep the same characters or something i don't know i was just it is what it is and i didn't i, I think part of it though is because it's the same thing when generation two came around i looked at this and i would i had threw a fit again to myself i was like huh, no they are not my little ponies because <laughs> they don't look like my little ponies or you know like they have a different look a different style altogether they completely redesigned them so um and it's taken me a minute to uh, warm up to them i did see the movie i'm gonna start taking them out of the box here but this is i'm just gonna show it to you while i'm talking i should have been showing this to you the whole time sorry anyway um, so here they are. I did see the movie, um, uh, and I did, I did enjoy the movie, begrudgingly. <laughs> the movie was cute. It was a little short, um, and it felt like the story was a little bit rushed, and that might just be because kids have a, um, short attention span. I'm just gonna start taking them out. Uh, these are all the char characters, by the way. Um, but yeah, so... The, the the move the story moved kind of quick for my liking uh when it came to the movie itself i haven't started watching the cartoon for these um because it's i know it's going to be even more fast-paced and very quick slapstick or whatever you know like i don't know i don't even know what it is i'm like prejudging it i haven't watched it at all um and maybe i should give it a chance i don't know but i i'm not a huge fan of the new story um because the G4 story was so good. G1, G2, and G3 didn't really have story. G1 had an interesting story for the time. It came out in the 80s. It was a, it was a story. <laughs> um, you know, they're like, what can we do? In fact, I think the first story was kind of dark. It was um, more in line with stuff like He-Man. But a lot of the cartoons in the 80s weren't super, like... They had, you know, they were interesting, but that's the best I can say about them. Like, they weren't the best. They weren't the worst. Um, but yeah, they are what they are. Generation 2 and Generation 3, any cartoons that they had, I don't even know if they did cartoons for Generation 2, to be honest. Uh, Generation 3 was very much aimed at three-year-olds. Like, it was for little kids. Uh, and then, you know, Generation 4 came around, and the cartoon was so good. The characters were likable. They were relatable. They had adventure, but they also had slice-of-life stuff. And it was just done really, really well. And, like, the because, it, you know, it's like, if you, if you liked cartoons like the Powerpuff Girls and stuff like that, it's made by the same people. So, like, naturally, it's going to be good. Um, but the the story i i enjoyed more anyway this new one it's like i don't know i feel like the story is a little bit weak 
in my personal opinion. I don't know, I didn't enjoy it as much, but like I said, it was a cute, movie and it had a lot of easter eggs uh, especially for like g1 of my little pony and i loved that but i'm just afraid that i'm not gonna like the cartoon at all so i haven't even bothered watching it um, and i wasn't gonna collect the ponies because i didn't like their new design but i figured i would get this set specifically because it had the five main characters and if i don't like them i don't have to buy any more of the ponies but at least i have the main characters and i gave them a chance now the five characters so oh shoot i don't know any of their names hold on does it oh thank goodness okay it does say their names on the back so this is zip storm zip is one of the pegasus sisters zip storm is basically the rainbow dash of this generation um i do like that they gave zip short hair i'm gonna try and restyle it to give it a faux hawk because right now it's just kind of back and it looks kind of like flat <laughs> but i like the fact that it's short because that is her character like the character art has short hair so i do appreciate that um but i'm just going to try and restyle it so it stands up a little more i might trim it a little to make it even shorter but um i do actually really like this pony and the only thing is the wings are kind of like pressed against her body um and in previous generations the wings are usually like up but I mean, it's fine. Um, it just doesn't look like she's flying, so like a kid can't like make her fly. <laughs> no. Um, anyway, there's articulation at the head for each of them. It does not, oh, I guess it does tilt. Oh, cool. Okay, so this is actually a good amount of articulation for the head. For a pony, um, normally like a lot of ponies are static figures and they only at this point started adding in the twist. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. But for this being like a swivel, this reminds me of the pony life. Uh, figures that they had. I only own one of them and it's a Trixie and she's in in a tub in storage somewhere. Um, so I can't show her to you, but the Pony Life figures had these kind of like swivel ball jointed heads. Oh, they are a ball joint. So Sorry. <laughs> Trigger warning. I'm ripping her head off. Anyway, um, so like it's just a ball joint and that's kind of cool. So it can actually pop back on, but it doesn't, it, it, it took a little force, so it's not going to easily pop off. So if you get this for a kid or if a kid is playing with it, it's not easily going to accidentally pop off, but it's a ball joint. So that's kind of nice for that kind of articulation. I like that. The rest of the pony is a static pony. I don't have any other G4 ponies here to, unfortunately I should have got one so I could do a size comparison side by side or like this is a G3 versus a G5. So this is, you know, you can kind of like see the difference there. And in fact, I have a G1 back here. Where is she? Here is my favorite pony from my childhood, Tic-Tac-Toe from G1. So G1 next to G5. So you can kind of see the size difference. So that to just kind of give you, uh, oh wait, no, yellow pony and yellow pony. Sorry, these are both yellow. So we'll do this. <laughs> oh, this is a boy pony. So he's different actually. Um, let's go ahead. I was gonna do the sister next, but I might as well, I showed you him. So I might as well show you him next. So. This is the boy pony, and um, the boy ponies in this world are, or in pony world, are usually like the Clydesdales, and then the um, girl ponies are like other horse breeds. But basically, um, they're like thicker, and like they have the fur around their hooves, like, and these, oh, she has fur around her hooves too. Oh, okay, so the, I guess the newer My Little Ponies, they all have fur on their hooves. But anyway, the boy ponies are taller, they're a little bit thicker and stockier, um, and have a square head <laughs> compared to a round head. He's cute. These are so cute. Like, I don't know, he looks like a puppy. It's so adorable. <laughs> the boy ponies don't have brushable hair. So that's one thing, they have molded hair, which honestly, I'm okay with it, I guess, um, because it still looks nice. And I, I like the really mini, like the blind bag ponies anyway, so I'm not gonna complain. Um, but anyway, so yeah, he's got the, the cool hair. It's swoopy, it's translucent. It's my favorite color. It's like a teal, it has glitter in it. So it's kind of cool. He's yellow. I like this pony because he doesn't have any pink or purple on him. And um, I'm a huge fan of ponies that have uh, alternative colors because literally all of these ponies have either pink and or purple on them um, and that's like a typical thing for my little pony to have pink and purple so any pony that's got doesn't have pink or purple on it i really am drawn to for some reason anyway boy pony um where'd they put the thing 
His name is Hitch. So this is Hitch Trailblazer. Let's go ahead and talk about Sunny Star Scout. Sunny and Zip are the only two that I remember their names because <laughs> Sunny is the main character and Zip is my favorite character. But anyway, so here is Sunny. Sunny is an earth pony. Her hair is in a braid. Um, by the way, My Little Pony has always had really nice, high quality nylon hair um, and with a few like offshoots. Like sometimes they do like special gimmicks or whatever. And sometimes they do um, different types of hair. But um, G4 is when they started like towards the end, they started kind of like losing quality because then the mane would be nice hair and then the tail would be polypropylene. So um, yeah, that was kind of annoying. But um, these ones, it's kind of hard to tell because there's tinsel in the hair. I just realized I didn't even point that out. There is tinsel in the hair, but the hair is polypropylene. Zip's hair is polypropylene for sure. Um, yeah. Oh no. Are these all? These are all polypropylene and tinsel. Like they literally have the worst hair. Like the worst hair, and it's the combination, like literally the two worst things for doll hair they put on these ponies. So it's like, Anyway, so uh, it's polypropylene. I mean, it is what it is. It, these are toys for kids. They're going to get thrown around. They're going to be whatever. But ugh, Hasbro cheaped out. I'm actually upset about this. I really don't like polypropylene hair. Um, and they have tinsel, which the tinsel looks cute because it's sparkly. But once again, the tinsel is another thing that adds to doll hair that makes it feel coarse. So anyway, so that is Sunny. Um, and then next up, um, let's talk about uh, Zip because I had mentioned or not Zip. I already talked about Zip. This is Izzy. Izzy Moonbow. That's who it is. So Izzy. Izzy is the Pinkie Pie of the se series or the new season uh, or new series, I guess. And she has like the curly hair and everything, which I think is hilarious. And she has a very bubbly effervescent personality, which I love. Um, anyway, so yeah. Izzy is my favorite character because she's so positive and upbeat. Her hair is an absolute mess, so I'm going to have to do something with this. But I like that it's curly. I like the colors a lot. I really like the blue with this purple and everything. I think she's so pretty. Her eyes are printed really close together, and I don't know if that was intentional or if that's a misprint because all these other ponies, their, their eyes are a little further apart and it looks a, a little bit more natural. Yeah, they're all kind of like further apart, but then Izzy's like really, really close together. So yeah, I don't know. It They don't look necessarily wonky or anything. They just kind of close together. But anyway, so that is Izzy. Last up is uh, Zip's sister. So this is the other Pegasus princess. Uh, this is Princess Petals. Is that her name really? Princess Petals? Yeah, okay. Princess Petals. So that's this one. And here she is. So she doesn't have her crown, but there's a crown in her cutie mark, so I guess that works. She's also a Pegasus. Oh, and I, I didn't mention, but Zip is a unicorn, obviously, if you didn't didn't notice that or point pick that out with the big horn on her forehead. Anyway, so um, yeah, this is Princess Petals. So she's really pretty, and um, she's a singer. She's like a pop star in this pony world. So, And she's like, I guess, an, an influencer as well in the pony world. They really brought My Little Pony into the current modern day and made them relevant in their own way. <laughs> so anyway, her hair is a good length. You know, these are actually really pretty. I like these. Um, I'm not 100% convinced. I don't know if I'm going to start co actively collecting these, but um, I don't know. They, they're cute. I think I'm fine with just having these, to be honest, because like I said, I I'm, I'm don't really feel a huge connection to Generation 5. Oh, they also came with this. There was a little box in here. So I guess they have little uh, accessories here and it's in tissue paper. Let's just really quickly see what's in here. So in the, oh cute. Okay. So there's a little comb with gems. This looks very familiar. This looks like it'd be like a comb for rarity. So if anybody knows if this is a reused mold from G4, let me know in the comments. Um, anyway, this is, is this a brush? A little brush? Oh no, no, no. It's a hair clip. Like a little, okay, I think that's, or not. Is that supposed to do that? I broke it. It's broke right there. It's not going to hold anything. But I think that, or maybe it is. Whatever. It's a little hair clip, I guess. And it looks like a rose. 
So, but it, it felt like it snapped. So, um, there's a few different little um, unicorn horns. I don't know, it, it doesn't really show pictures of any of them wearing it. So, I guess you could just give them to whoever. Let me just put some of these on, or at least I'll just put the one on. So, here's like uh, Sunny wearing one of the little unicorn horns. So, and then there, oh, that's right, because in the movie they had to wear the unicorn horns to go to the unicorn place. So here is a uh, orange one, and then here is a purple one, and then they had the other one um, that I put here as a blue one. So I think that they color match the ponies they're on, so I think that I put the one on Sunny that's supposed to go for zip. Here's a ring for me to wear. Um, it kind of matches the comb because it's got like a little diamond shape on it. And then um, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's oh, okay. I just realized what this is. It is a selfie stick with a cell phone on the end. It's a selfie stick for ponies. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> they can't even hold it. Like there's not e <sighs> Anyway, so it's a little selfie stick and because of this princess right here, because she's an influencer, I forgot. Yeah, okay. Um, so here's another little hair clip, hair beret, or hair barrette, whatever. I'm afraid to bend it because I broke the last one. Okay, if I'm just careful, it's bent. There we go. Okay, so it's bending. That's how it's supposed to be. So now I can do little uh, hair clips in their hair. I'm not gonna bother with it right now. But this one is, uh, this one's three hearts. So once again, I don't know if these are like reused molds or if they are new for this generation or not. Um, oh, and then I have one more unicorn horn. It is a uh, pink one. So um, whoever these end up going to, I don't know, I guess. I've got one unicorn, so the, the, there is four unicorn horns, so the other four can wear uh, horns as well. Oh, and then here's like a little ring for one of the ponies to wear. Or I guess it'd be like a bracelet at this size, but it's a little um, diamond and it's a uh, orange color. So um, I, I have a feeling she would be the one that's accessorized, so I'm going to give her the bracelet. There's that. And then let's give them each a horn that matches their hair color. So I'm going to give the purple one to Princess Petals here. And then she, there we go. And then I'm going to take the blue one and I'm going to give the blue one to Hitch because it's kind of like a teal anyway. So like I feel like that matches his hair. Um, I've got the pink one here I'm going to put on Sunny. So that way it matches her hair. I don't know, like I said, I don't know who, which color goes to which pony. I'm just guessing at this point. Um, and then I, oh no, no, actually, no, no, no. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the orange horn for Sunny because she's an orange pony and that makes more sense. But then I'm gonna do the pink one for Zip because then it matches her pink hair. There we go. I feel like that that matches better. So anyway, now they're all masquerading as unicorns, <laughs> going to the unicorn place. Uh, and then, you know, like, of course, uh, Izzy doesn't need to do that because she already has a unicorn horn of her own that she grew herself. <laughs> so I, I have to rewatch that movie now because I only watched it the one time and there's parts of it I don't remember. I don't really remember why they had, I think it's just they, they had to sneak in and pretend that they were unicorns for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, so um, yeah, is that it? I think that was it. Okay, so I have now officially opened everything. All the My Little Ponies, the Pop Figures, the Barbie Extra Mini. Um, yeah, this was fun. Um, maybe I'll do more of these videos where I just like grab a bunch of random things that I want to open and get them opened rather than giving them each their own individual video. Um, I don't know. The video is going to be like a lot longer at this point. It doesn't tell me. Where does it tell me? It doesn't tell me how long it's been recording. Oh, geez, over an hour. Okay, so it's been recording an hour. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is going to be a pretty long video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, I got to find out where I'm going to put all of this stuff. But I got to get going for right now. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope I see you next time. Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting thumbs up. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.